Hello again. As you see, I've moved back into the kitchen because at the end of my courgette fritters video, I promised you another one on how to create what I call the third condiment, namely tomato powder. Especially if you sprinkle a little bit of tomato powder on them. Tomato powder? Oh, that's another video. It takes a little time, but most of that will be spent while you're asleep and the end result is well worth it. So let's get to work. We need to convert these into this. To blanch the tomatoes and loosen the skin, you just need to have the tomato at the other end and just Make a little cross, put it in a slotted spoon, drop it in the water and repeat the process. And leave them in there for a couple of minutes. After a short time, the cross that you put in the tomatoes will start to open. I don't know whether you can See it there, it's just beginning to open. Now put it in iced water. Now that one's beginning to peel nicely. After another couple of minutes, they're ready to be peeled. Save the peeled skin on some baking sheet. You'll need it later. Once you've got all the skin off, put the fleshy tomato on a chopping board. Using a well sharpened knife, slice the tomatoes. I should warn you, it starts to get a bit messy now. Lay them out on the board. Then, using my old friend, the a wine bottle cap, I can cut out the seeds and liquid. So you're left with the rings of the tomato flesh. Take the tomato flesh. Don't throw the seeds and the liquid away. Um, they come in useful in another video. Baking sheet. And then repeat the process with the other tomatoes. If you put a wire rack on top of a metal baking tray, you can then lift the baking papers onto the wire rack and that gives better air circulation the oven. All it requires now is to put it into a very low oven for really quite a long time. Something like 65 to 80 degrees and for about six to eight hours. So it might be an idea either to put them in last thing at night or first thing in the morning before you check them and we'll see them later. You've not only got the dehydrated fleshy tomatoes, but crispy petals from the dehydrated tomato skins. Put the dehydrated flesh and the skins, if you like, into a spice or coffee grinder. And give them a jolly good whiz.
Depending on the dehydration and the length of grinding, you'll get a variety of tomato powders. These can be used on omelettes, fritters and fried eggs. They're all very tasty. After all this hard work, I think I ought to let you into a little secret. You can buy ready prepared tomato powder at less than three pounds a pound from Amazon. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing or tapping that like button. Thank you. I'll see you another day.